Uh, I joined the Army straight out of high school. I uh, was in there, the Rangers for six years with 1st Ranger Battalion in Savannah, Georgia, four deployments to Afghanistan. Um, I've been a rifleman, I've been a saw gunner, been a grenadier, been a team leader, been a company armor, done a lot of different roles. Decided, hey, I want to go back to school, get an engineering degree, and decided on nuclear engineering. Uh, went to school at Armstrong in Savannah for a year, then transferred through the RATP program to get to Georgia Tech. The Regents Engineering Transfer Program uh, basically sets up, if you meet the core requirements of the basic engineering studies, they say, hey, if you get this at least a 3.0 GPA, you're able to transfer to Georgia Tech. I started off not sure what kind of engineering degree I wanted, but then when I looked into uh, nuclear engineering, it was actually Kirk Sorensen's Molten Salt Reactors. I was like, oh, these sound really cool, but they sound too good to be true. So I'm like, I'm I'm going to get a nuclear engineering degree. ROTC here at Tech's also helped me, you know, kind of level out a little bit from being this super intense, you know, ranger guy to, okay, you know, you're, you're a student, you're an officer, you're going to be leading people. Um, all of these things have culminated to learning a lot about myself, uh, learning a lot here at Tech, especially, you know, doing an engineering degree, loved it, every second of it. Georgia Tech was a military institution when it first started. It was the second or third institution in the nation that was a military. From there, it's, it's been a great amount of support, but we need to keep going with it and make sure it's been done. But I know Tech set me up for success with a bunch of the problem solving and critical thinking from the engineering degree. Made a lot of really good friends, and I'm looking forward to staying in touch with them along the way.